When the working world looks at the tribe of bike couriers, it sees outlaws, scofflaws, and rebels. I think one of the biggest misconceptions about being a bike messenger is they're just all a bunch of uh, dope smoking drinkers, which is absolutely not the case. There's a lot of, a lot of bike messengers uh, with families, a lot of bike messengers with mortgages. Veteran rider Leah Hollinsworth is a single mom who has worked both sides of the canyon that separates bike couriers from Bay Street. I was doing corporate sales on Bay Street, wearing a suit, heels, and just sort of got tired of it. I love working outside and being sort of in touch with the city and knowing what's going on. Leah rides less than she used to, spending part of each day assigning other couriers. Dispatching pays more than peddling. Hey, Maya, could you head into uh, 320 Bay for me? Hi there. Got a package for you. Thank you. No problem. Have a nice day. Take care. I leave my work at the office. Per se, I you know I don't take anything home with me. I'm not stressing out about deadlines. I don't care. Five o'clock comes, I turn out, and I go home. I go home to my family. Alrighty, let's see what you got here. Okay. Very nice. What's this? That in itself, on a day-to-day -day basis, I think I wouldn't trade that for job security or you know or, or more money. Veteran Leah earns a bit more than the courier average of $25,000 a year. I would say I make definitely in the top 10%. Um, I've had to lose to take a job with less riding, which is what I would like to do. Um, you know, less riding in order to trade that off for more money. I think that the role that dispatchers play um, in your day-to-day -day environment can be pretty big. I mean, it, if you have a dispatcher that you like and that likes you, it can, uh, I mean, it makes the difference between an $80 day and a and $150 day. One of the biggest challenges as being a dispatcher is to try and keep, uh, try and keep things fair. Courier dispatcher is, is very unusual. Um, it's, it's a love-hate relationship. With drivers, it's different. That relationship is hate-hate. One of the scariest things that can happen to a courier is uh, going past parked cars and you have to go close because the cars are kind of, the, the traffic is pushing you in toward the parked cars and somebody throws their door open in your face. That's called the door prize. Yeah, accidents are part of the job. First of all, they're always in a hurry. That's number one. Number uh, they don't obey the red light, the stop sign. Uh, 60 to 70 percent of drivers have no idea that there's couriers on the road. We only have two eyes on, on the front. We can't see in the front. We cannot see in the back. Um, you learn that cabbies downtown are more dangerous than cabbies in uh, residential areas. They expect you to have four eyes, two in the back, two in the front. You have to see them always. This is my side to get out. I opened the door and I came out and I was talking to the other, the other driver. The guy just drove by and he just kicked me right in my back. Just like that for no reason. They said, what are you going to do? What do you mean what I'm going to do? I show you what I'm going to do. And then we fight, real fight, real fight, really fight. Like, like a kid's like on the floor, both of us on the ground. We tend not to like cars. Uh, we tend to be rather proud of the fact that we're a non-polluting, uh, environmentally friendly way of moving goods around the city. Hey there. Good. Yeah, Leah's been you. there. So In this tribe, there? curbside combat comes with the territory. Perfect. Cool. Somebody, thanks so much. Threw their garbage out of their car, and I picked it up and opened the car and whipped it back in and. He got out and threw two coffees at me, and we tussled a bit. And his car got scratched in the tussle, and uh, a photographer was there and was taking photographs. It was it was cyclist versus motorist. It was man versus woman. 
I understand the violation that he would have felt, you know, his personal space being invaded by me opening the door and like throwing his food back in. He left and I thought it was over. And at that point he came running back. He had driven his car a couple blocks and came running back and attacked me. Big, big tussle, lots of people, everybody, you know, him trying to fight me and people pulling us apart and, and the police kill deal. Um, they wanted, if, if I was to press charges against the guy, he would have pressed charges against me. Um, it's assault for throwing the food back in his car. So that wasn't an option for me. I didn't want an assault on my record. So I said, no, don't worry about it, whatever. What's done is done, and, and I left. Road warrior Sonia Serba, alias Sunny D, rides and raps by night. She'll be performing at the upcoming Cycle Messenger World Championships. I stumbled into this profession through a series of um, menial, uh, low-wage jobs. Um, I, I worked uh, in retail for a while. I started into some temp work, like. Uh, just absolutely mind-numbing. When the money started really running out, a friend of mine said, you know, have you ever thought of being a courier? Stuck in the party, baby, we got nerve. All night we're hugging up the table with hors d'oeuvres. Track bikes outside, his and hers. This is a way of living, man. It's more than just work. It's like slipping on the street. Every pedal turn, I was the self, you know, why did I drop out of college? Why couldn't I have just been a journalist? And why couldn't I just stick to, you know, school? I think... You know, we are, we're damaged people. I use my hate as fuel for my art. Being a messenger, you can be consumed by hate. And you can't let that get to you. You can beat me, chain me, kidnap me, and rape me. But everything you do to me just makes me more angry. Hide me, hate me, because you just can't face me. You could cross me out, but you can never erase me. I am that girl. That girl is me, the aftermath prison. I'm just trying to break free some shit that gets spit. Sometimes it's true. Think about it, because that girl is you too. I am that girl. That girl is me. The aftermath is like a prison. I'm just trying to break free some shit that gets spit. Sometimes it's true. Think about it, because that girl is you. Good Lord, we might have just found the best song ever. <laughs> Sunny D is staking her soul on the world championships. She'll be curating the art show, rapping, and racing. I'm going to compete, and I'm going to see how I am compared, you know, on a world scale, you know? She's fast. She's, I would say, uh, almost certainly the fastest woman in Toronto, but she's among the fastest careers, period. I'm going to do my best, and I'm going to try not to end up in the hospital after the World Messenger Championship. The big race will feature a competition no one can see, a young woman's heart against her ailing lungs. So I'm always really afraid when I'm competing that maybe this is going to be the time that, you know, I have that asthma attack. Sucking smog and cycling on snow is a prescription for a short, sick life. But to see in the tribe of bike couriers, the worst affliction of all is giving up. 